Hey everyone, this is Zach. Welcome to a special Halloween themed edition of Pop Talk. This episode, I'm going to talk to you guys about some stuff that I'm into during the Halloween season. A lot of the stuff I grew up with, I'd like to present to you and maybe you can watch it if you're just going to be hanging out this weekend during Halloween, not going out to the bars, the clubs or dressing up or whatever. But at the end too, I'd like to know some things that you are into that I'd be able to check out uh, movies, TV shows, books and all that as well. But let's get started right now. Here's some music that I'm into during Halloween season. Nightmare on My Street, a song that relates to the Nightmare on Elm Street series done by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Very cool, uh, especially at the time when it came out. And I'm playing anything by Rob Zombie during Halloween season. He also just released some stills from the new Munsters movie that he is working on right now. If you're looking for some reading material, why not dig into three novels with short stories, scary stories to tell in the dark, uh, part one released in 81, two in 84, and the last one in 1991 by Alvin Schwartz. These are very cool books, uh, just about under 30 stories per book, and some of the creepiest art out there. And, you know, if you want to stick to comics like me, I grew up on stuff like Evil Ernie, Lady Death, those are classics, you can look into those as well. And here is a deep cut. Jason vs. Leatherface. This comic is off the wall. It was a three-issue miniseries released by Topps back in 1995. If you can get your hands on it, good for you. Um, they were very limited releases, but if you ask nicely, maybe I can read some to you as a bedtime story sometime. All right, let's switch over to some TV. So right now I'm watching Chucky. It is on USA and Sci-Fi, and it's in the middle of the series right now, and it's a lot more fun than I thought. It ties into all the Chucky movies and brings back all the characters like Jennifer Tilly and everyone else. And it is just a lot of fun. So check that out as well as Creep Show. I was a big fan of the two movies that were released and I suggest you check out that show as well. It is a fun watch. And um, I also want to just mention some old stuff that old man Zach grew up with. If you can find it, I do believe it's on Amazon Prime. Friday the 13th, the series, released in 1987, had about three uh, seasons. It has absolutely nothing to do with Jason Voorhees, but it's very cool. Uh, they hunt down cursed antiques. Cool series. Also, Tales from the Dark Side, one of the creepiest intros I've ever seen as a kid. Definitely check that one out as well. And a one that was released a few years back on Fox called Scream Queen. It was such a great cast and it was so well done. I'm not that into uh, meta horror. It's, it's, it's very non-original, but this was a lot of fun. Emma Roberts, uh, Niecy Nash, uh, Billy Lord, Kiki Palmer. It was just such a well done cast. Uh, I highly suggest it. The second season, don't worry about it. But that one's very good. Um, let's move on to some movies. This weekend, uh, speaking of Scream Queen, she was in it as well. Jamie Lee Curtis is in Halloween Kills, is in movie theaters and streaming on Peacock. I will be checking that out. Uh, let me know what you thought of that movie, but we'll be checking that as well as New Day versus The Undertaker on Netflix. You play as the New Day trying to escape The Undertaker's mansion. It is a choose your own adventure style watch. So there are multiple endings that you can have a lot of fun with. And I just wanna go back to some older ones that I enjoy too. It follows, uh, it is a well done movie. It is basically a PSA for underage sex, but it is very, very well done with a lot of good scares. Also, The Blob, the 1988 remake. I love this movie. I love the practical effects. Uh, drama from Entourage is in there. The, the acting and the lines that are thrown around this movie are what they are. But uh, it's a very fun movie to watch. Great, great special effects. And speaking of 1985's Return of the Living Dead, I have so much fun with this movie every single year. Please watch this movie. It's a lot of fun. The, the practical effects in this one as well just are so well done. I guarantee you'll have a lot of fun with this. And also, we have a movie that I, I cannot endorse enough. Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. It came out in the 90s. It has Jada Pinkett in there. It has Billy Zane, CCH Pounder, an outstanding cast. Great, great effects. Fun movie. Great soundtrack with, like, the Grave Diggers and Filter. And it's so much fun. Please seek this out. And if you do, let me know what you think. So those are some things that I am into around Halloween season. Let me know in the comments some things that you are into during Halloween season because I would love to check out a whole bunch of new stuff too. And it's Halloween in my place pretty much all year round. So uh, just be careful this year. Uh, there are things out there like uh, razors and apples. People do do that. It is disgusting. And basically just anything that will harm you. Please be careful things that will harm you. So if you are gonna dress up let us know. Hit us up on IG uh, or Instagram. 
It is West Coast Pop underscore. And we'd love to see what you have to wear. Just tag us in it. Uh, what cool costume do you have? This right here with my friend Mike, I made an Optimus Prime costume. It's probably the favorite costume I've ever done. So again, we'd love to see what you got going on. Let us know in the chats if there's anything that I should be checking out. Books, comics, movies, TV shows, etc., etc. I would love to hear from you. And if you have checked out anything that I mentioned in this episode, Please feel free to comment because I would love to know what you thought of things that I'm into. But I am Zach from West Coast Pop. Have a great Halloween and be excellent to each other.